wanna love nobody but you. I don't wanna love nobody. I just returned from France, where I visited the beaches of Normandy to commemorate the 80th anniversary of D-Day, which was the first step in liberating all of Europe and made changing civilization. On that hallowed ground, I spoke about a brave American soldier who fought tyranny for the hope, freedom, of democracy. That includes the Red Ball Express, a convoy of mostly black soldiers who landed in Normandy in wake of the D-Day to rush supplies to the frontiers and the front lines. These black soldiers were a link in the distinguished line of patriots, enslaved and free, who risked their lives in every war since the founding, since the founding of our ideals, and we don't know fully what American soil is, quality and freedom. One of those soldiers of the Red Ball Express who fought, fought for freedom on distant shores was a civil rights lawyer who fought for freedom here at home. 61 years ago this week, he was gunned down at home in Mississippi in the poison of white supremacy. But all these years later, his spirit endures. You all know his name it was Medgar Evers. Last month, I awarded Medgar Evers the Presidential Medal of Freedom, our nation's highest civilian honor, posthumously. Because life reminds us, reminds us of our change that we have to keep in redeeming the soul of America. Folks, that's what Juneteenth is all about. That's why, this is why I awarded the Medal of Freedom to Miss Oprah Lee as well, the grandmother of Juneteenth. <laughs> This Juneteenth, we will hold a National Day of Action on Voting. And I call on all the leaders here to please join us 
in helping more Americans register to vote. Because while Juneteenth is a day for celebration, it is also a day for dedication, a day to rededicate ourselves to the ongoing and unfinished work of our American experiment, a day to renew our commitment to defend our freedoms, to honor our history, and to continue to fight for the promise of America.